Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. As a wise coach once said, Hayes in the barn now. That means no more time for preparation, lots of time for playing. Time to tee it up in the Mountain West. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Colorado State is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Williams fields it at the one. At the 30. Looking for the corner. Across midfield. At the 30. And he's finally brought down at the 17. Wow. What a great way to open the game. Now the offense is in great shape to score and make an early statement. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. That's a great tackle at the 18. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 18. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. It's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Nevada is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Nice run there. Massey picks up about seven yards there after getting the ball in the misdirection. Second and three. Second down, three yards to go. Ball on the 32 yard line. He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 47 yard line. This is one of their special plays they like to call to keep the defense off balance. When you can get first downs in unconventional ways, you have the edge over your opponent. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 48. Back five, back five. And he's taken down at the 45.
hit immediately. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He's tackled at the 36. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. This is the eighth play of the drive. Roger, Roger. My 50, my 50. And... Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop right around the 14-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. And down he goes around the 15-yard line. And this is the tenth play of the drive. The Rams always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. It's third down and 15 to go. Ball on the 19. The Rams running back taken out earlier, sidelined with that injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. Quick throw, brought down at the 10. This flag came from the defensive secondary. Let's That's see what the call is. Offense. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Colorado State can tie it up here with this kick. Kicks away, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Coleman has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Caught at the 8. He's out to the 30. Down the sideline. And he's finally taken down at the 37. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Cook takes it up the middle. Tackle right around the 40. This guy's out of his stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. They found out right here on this play. From the 40-yard line, second down. Tackle made at the 31. They'll bring him down at the 28. So they're going to go for it here. By 56, by 56. And they'll run him again. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Not much there for the halfback, but he picked up some tough yardage. Well, nothing fancy here. The back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down. the ball right he gets hit out of bounds right around the 22 yard line 
from the 22-yard line. It's second down. Caught open field inside the 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Five-yard line. That's, That's a gain of one, one on the play. play. That, that brings, brings up second, second goal. goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Well, Kirk, we saw this kid head to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, and now we see that he's back on the sideline. That's good news. Looks like he should be able to get back in the action. And he just gets rid of it. So here we go. It's third and goal from the four, and this would break the tie. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That brings us fourth and goal. Nevada could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and they tack on three points. Henwin gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's into the open field. He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. First down. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 6-3, Nevada. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. He's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's taken down around the 43-yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy is amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. From the 43-yard line, first down. Going long. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Taken down at the 27. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27 yard line. with the runner he's taken down behind the line well this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines you can see that the defense is fired up after that play scrambling around 
they bring the quarterback down. Loss of two on the play. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 17. They get to the quarterback, and now the ball is loose. Big opening. He's at the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Nevada. Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This is a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. He splits the uprights with the extra point. like they're ready for the kickoff and he got all of this one great kick and they can forget about returning this one it was a rough road on their last drive as the fumble led to a touchdown I know as a quarterback it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football Gets to about the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's at midfield. To the 20. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. Well, they found some seams in the coverage there. Let's see if the defense makes any adjustments to counter. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he adds the extra point. A short three-play, 75-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Coleman is lined up to kick this one off. From his own goal line. And he's taken down at the 26. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Nevada is up by three. He fights forward to about the 29. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. All the loss of two yards on the play. That brings us third and ten. Six. 
Makes the grab and steps out right away. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. From the 35-yard line, second down. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Nevada is up a field goal. And he's going to come up with a sack. Big play there by the defensive end to get into the backfield and get the quarterback. It's amazing what this kid can do on the field. Don't let his youth fool you. He's good. Fourth and long here after the sack. Kent awaits the snap. Booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Colorado State's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this through the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20. He's tackled at the 30. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. Makes the catch and look out. And down he goes at about the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, first down. Receiver screen and complete. Justice was intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Black five, black five. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down at the 34-yard line. Yeah. <laughs> 
He's tackled in the open field. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it first and ten. Here's the eighth play of the series. At about the 21. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. Tenth play of the drive. made at the one yard line the draw play to the running back gives him eight or nine yards from the one yard line second down fires to the end zone picked off the defense really cranked up the heat there give those guys all the credit for forcing a desperation pass has a three-point lead. Well, that is going to take their first time out of the half. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. From their own 31-yard line, first down. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Gets rid of it quickly. He's at midfield. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. First and 10. Ball on the 46. Here's a quick throw. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Throws it away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Nevada holds a field goal lead. And he's level at the 31-yard line. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be... Sends it out quick. Intercepted. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. From their own 18-yard line, it's first down. Massey, the ball carrier, and he's tackled at the 21. Well, we've played a half of football. Nevada's got a three-point lead.
glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced, David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Very close game now as we start the second half. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He scrambled. And he's going to be sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Fights forward to about the 23. That brings us third and 12. Flips it middle to the running back. That's a great tackle at the 28 yard line. That brings us fourth and seven. Coleman is waiting for the snap. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. They're ready to begin another drive. Nevada is up by three. He's going to air it long. And it's going the other way. It's the senior corner. And he hits him hard at the 15. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. From their own 15-yard line, first down. Just throws this one away. Throws it deep. Oh, and he can't hold on. Just this intended receiver on the play. It's third down and ten. Ball on their own fifteen. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's in trouble. It's a fumble. Scooped up by the defense. Good hustle there by the D lineman. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy has a motor that's running. He never quit, and he played to the whistle. 
And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. the PAT. Henley has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Nevada's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. He's taken down around the 25-yard line. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. It's second and 10. Ball on the 25. He's taken down at about the 27-yard line. Here's the screen to the wideout. They'll bring him down at the 28. Coleman is the putter. He's tackled at midfield. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. And now he's got room to run. Tackled after a decent pickup. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 46-yard line. And he's stopped behind the line. That was a loss of two yards. Third down. goes out of bounds right around the 40. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it fourth and inches. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Four down, four down. Mike 56, Mike 56. <laughs> Keeps it on the ground, and they won't get the first down. Huge play for the defense. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Counter left. Nice run to the left there. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. He's tackled at about the 49. That's good for the three yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Quick 
throw, and he is drilled the 42-yard line. Barry with the tackle at the 42-yard line. First down. From the 42-yard line, first down. Runs it left for a decent game. He's scrambling. Dives and he's down. Quick thinking here by the quarterback to not only avoid the pressure, but also avoid throwing the ball into coverage. To top it off, he reached the marker. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31. He fights forward to about the 29. He's on the run, and he's going to come up with a sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 26. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he nails the long field goal. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 2013, Nevada. They line up to kick this one away. From the five-yard line. Across the 30. They'll bring him down at the 37. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. Brad, this offense, the last time they were out there, went for it on fourth down and came up short. And I'm all for being aggressive, but I really think you've got to be smart when it comes to when to go for it on fourth down and when to punt and try to affect field position. Let's see if this offensive coordinator and play caller has learned from some of his mistakes in the past. Nevada is up a score. Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes at about the 45. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. Kent to punt. For Nevada, they've been coming after the quarterback all day long. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. And on top of the pressure, they've also come up with the two takeaways. This offense hasn't done a good job of moving the ball either. That's one of the effects of not being able to protect the quarterback. He's having to get rid of it in a hurry to a check down to avoid a sack. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He's knocked out of bounds at the 37-yard line. That's a game of 16 on the play. That makes it first and 10. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. A 
A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 2013, Nevada. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Tackle at the 46 yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. yards there on the carry for the halfback and it's good for a first down that's an excellent call against an aggressive defense once those linemen and linebackers bit on the pass play they completely lost track of the runner and he's tackled after positive yardage that brings him second and five from the 45 yard line it's second down About the 47 yard line. That makes it third and seven. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. to set up a screen for the wide receiver. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. A score here might effectively end this one. Nevada is up seven. They give to the tailback. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it second and eight. From their own 44-yard line. Second down. He's tackled the 48 yard line. Makes it out to about the 39. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. From the 39-yard line, first down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That makes it second and 14. Gets out to around the 32. That's good for a game of 11 yards. Third down. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Mike 56, Mike 56. All right, see, let's All right, see. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. That's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get them there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on the football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's what winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. From the 28-yard line, second down. 
Nevada is up by a touchdown. Up the middle for a nice game. That'll bring up third and two. It's the ninth play of the drive. just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off he really got a hold of that kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback Colorado State's been doing special things on offense all season long and not today that's not what we've been expecting this has been a shocker these guys have had their way with almost every defense all year long you come in expecting the same thing and they lay an egg Boy, I didn't expect to see this at all well the guys are chomping at the bit down there waiting for the game to start back up Up in the pocket and sacked. That's a loss of seven yards. That'll make it second and nine. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Just under three to go in regulation. Nice run up the middle. That brings up third and twelve. He's hit before he can go anywhere. Boy, a big play like that can really spark this team. Look at the sideline. They're fired up, but if they score here, it could put him in a position to maybe tie this game up. Fires out to his receiver. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. The offense looking here to exercise any red zone demons they might have after throwing an interception on their last trip. Quick pass, and he's tackled right away. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the one-yard line. Here's the tight end. Drops. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Here they come. It's on the ground. They fall on it. It's fourth and goal. They're on the nine-yard line, and I'd probably be expecting a pass to the end zone here. A little over a minute in the game. And that just might do it. Intercepted. Big-time interception, and this game's over.
from their own 21-yard line. First down. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Cook gains about a yard on the play. And the ball carrier wasn't getting away from that tackle. He makes his way to about the 38. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 38. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. The Rams, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. Gets out to about the 35-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll bring up fourth and 13. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. 23-13, Nevada. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Colorado State probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. For the Wolfpack, they continue an above-average year, upping their record to 9-4. And, and for Colorado State, today's loss drops them to 8-5 on the season.